In this tutorial, I'll show you how to fix this GTA 5 failed initialization error. I will show you a couple of methods, so make sure you try all of them. Let's get started. First, open the download location of your GTA 5. Mine is on Steam, so I'll do it through Steam. When you open the GTA 5 directory, find these two files and delete them. Then exit out of this and try opening the game. Another way you can fix this issue is by updating your GPU drivers. Search for Device Manager in the Start menu and open it. Click on the small drop-down error next to Display Adapters. Then right-click on your GPU and Update Driver. Search automatically for drivers. My drivers are already updated, so it was fast, but for you it may take some time. Another way how you can update the drivers is by searching on Google. If you have NVIDIA graphics card search for NVIDIA drivers, click on the first link, and here select your graphics card model, and you'll get the download link for your GPU drivers. If you have an AMD GPU search for AMD drivers, click on Find Drivers for AMD Graphics. Here, you'll have a guide on how to install the latest drivers for your AMD GPU. Another way how you can fix this issue is by opening the location of your GTA 5 again. Then find the playgta5.exe file. Right-click on it, and then click Properties. Compatibility. Select this and choose Windows 7. Check the Run This Program as Administrator Setting. Click Apply and then OK. If all of this doesn't fix your issue, make sure you disable overclocking of your CPU and GPU. If you've ever enabled this, make sure you disable it because this can cause this error. Another way you can fix this issue is by updating the BIOS of your motherboard. Open the website of your motherboard manufacturer and download the latest updates. And that is how you fix this GTA 5 error. If you have any questions or tips, leave them in the comments and I'll try to help you. If you find the tutorial useful, make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.